welcome our loyal viewers that know Pasta Sauce on YouTube. Me, I'm Pasta Sauce, here with the famous Jack Yeba. Hello. Um, today is the first episode, official episode of... Oh shoot, I just remembered I don't have a name for the podcast actually. Um, oh, I, oh, oh wait, no, I do. Oh, hell no. I had a really what stupid fuck, name because it sounded like so very so like. Why? 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 Stuff. Um, but yeah, we have lots of guests planned, and I thought it would be fitting to have Jack as the first because why not? I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna get Toby on here. We're gonna get Gavin, Kalen. Caleb probably, maybe we'll have multiple at once. Ooh, um, but I'm hoping to have this podcast kind of be something consistent throughout the summer, and also just upload more on my YouTube. Because if you've seen, I have music stuff uploaded too, and I'm planning to upload even more. So I gotta ask, what made you start wanting to do a podcast? Oh yeah, no, I mean, I. Podcasting is a very easy and relaxed approach compared to, like, you know, gaming. Like, gaming videos and stuff. That's a kind of harder... It's just audio. I don't have to worry about video interface or anything like that. It's. I feel like it's an easier approach cause, to becoming a YouTuber. And I've, I mean, I've, everyone wants to be a YouTuber, you know? Because, I, I mean, I've heard about this before in, like, other podcasts with YouTubers in it. Um, that... People want to become YouTubers because they're their own boss. They make their own schedule. And it's like, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And I think that's a very good goal to look up to or a very good uh, job to kind of want. And, you know, I've always wanted it because it's just like, you know, makes money. I mean, some nowadays it doesn't really, yeah, but, yeah. Um, you know, it has everything, you know, famousness, what everyone wants, but, you know. Yeah, I think the main things that I hear when uh, starting to go into the realm of, like, at least film production or some media production yeah. is that you want to be passionate about it and you don't want to be out for fame. But, mm -hmm. you know, there's aspects of both that are favorable and unfavorable. Yeah. I think for me, I've always been interested in going into some sort of media, uh, just media occupation for my future, even though right now I'm going to school for mechanical engineering. In the future, I hope to be making some some sort of media. Yeah, no, exactly. Me too. Like, like I'm going to college. Pro I mean, I'm going in undecided right now for UNH, but I'm thinking of going into um, psychiatry type stuff, like um, psychology, uh, that kind of thing. Like, I'm thinking of studying that, but I'm probably... Like, I mean, I, I also really want to go into some kind of media production because I love editing videos. I love putting in funny little goofs and gaffs like this. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? That was funny. Did they, do you think the audience laughed? Do you laugh? Well, anyways, um, today we're here to talk about, um... We kind of were just throwing around subjects to get the ball rolling and make sure we were talking about stuff. Um, so we were thinking of talking about the Wii U and 3DS era Wii of U. Nintendo because it's very probably the most interesting one, or at least you know one that all of most of the listeners probably can relate to, and especially us, because um, a lot of people had like the GameCube or the Wii. I mean, because I did have the Wii, but when I really got into gaming, it was definitely with the Wii U and 3DS, and I just loved both of them a lot. Um, so tell me what your kind of history with those are. Oh, yeah. Starting at the very beginning, uh, I think I had like just this leapfrog tablet that my parents got me when I was a toddler, <laughs> and I love that thing to death. But I think my first real gaming experience was on a Nintendo Game Boy playing Pokemon Sapphire. That was like my hey. first real game. It was a very special place in my heart. Love Pokemon, Gen 3, Gen 5 are my favorites, if mm -hmm. I have to choose. Uh, after that, I went on. I had a GameCube and a PlayStation 2 growing up. I love those dearly. Favorite games for those were Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy, and that whole lineup of those games, which mm -hmm. I wish I Naughty Dog would 
make more of, but they're more focused on, they were focused on Uncharted and very much so The Last of Us recently. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Then uh, after that, GameCube, I switched more to like the DS handheld era. Yep. Which blew up for mm-hmm. our, like, I don't know, Gen Z kids. I can't imagine that unless you really dislike the DS, you wouldn't have one in your hand at some point in childhood. Yes. Yeah, exactly. It was crazy. I'm like, field trips everyone would be blowing up the um like chat channels flip 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 oh. yeah you just like on the bus I you'd all the join the chat it. channels and just yeah. kind of hang out and or just play multiple like draw games. little pictures and send little messages yeah. it was stupid but i remember doing it a bunch i remember sitting like uh i was like indoor recess or whatnot we just bust out our ds's and play whatever game we had like super mario bros multiplayer uh-huh. Oh, that was the best. That was yeah. Fun. Um, so when did you get your first 3DS? Oh, I would probably say around my age is probably the best thing I could recall. So about eleven or twelve, mm-hmm. which I think fits the f- time frame for when the 3DS were, was released. Yeah. Yeah. I I got mine. I think I got mine like release date, not like the date, but like around a couple months. You know, whenever my birthday or Christmas happened um which was 2012 was the 3ds let me wait let me check that really quick yeah yeah. um i remember when i was a kid like i'd always so i started out with like the main ds and then i switched to the dsi and then the dsi xl and then when the 3ds came out i switched to that it would be a process of like either every year a couple years or so it's awesome yeah no i did the same exact thing i think the only thing that didn't change is or for my family's lineage of DSs, was this one DS that I have right now, actually, in the, this little drawer next to me. And it's a little pink DS Lite, um, which was the second generation of DS. Um, that's the only remaining thing I have uh, for DSs. But then I also have my new 3DS XL, which is like fifth or sixth generation, I forget. But, um, yeah, I just looked it up, so it's 2011, which is crazy to me. Wow. Um, for the 3DS, man. Yeah, for the 3DS with 2011. So, that that's crazy to me. So, I might not have gotten it that close to release. I feel like I would have. I just don't have any, like, anything that can prove that, but I'm pretty sure it was pretty close to the release date. Um... And I enjoyed that thing. I, I loved the camera features, actually. Like, I was pretty young, so I just found interest you know when i wasn't playing any games or i didn't have any games and i would just play like face raiders wasn't that like that i'm pretty sure that was a game that came out right with the 3ds probably i don't recall i never played it but yeah i just remember you could take pictures of people and then you could like shoot them in... wait a minute i know exactly what you're talking yeah. about now i know exactly what you're talking about yeah that was a fun game i think they still have it even on the new three like it always comes with it but yeah. Yeah, you take pictures of people and then you throw like ping pong balls at them. Yep. And it just treated them as, you know, like some enemies. Minions. Yeah, enemies with certain HP. Ah, oh, that was fun. I know, that was great. And uh, it was, I loved the 3DS because it felt so personalized. Like, the DS really, like, looking back, I was like, oh my god, it's just one menu. That's it. But the 3DS was like, I, I mean,. I might be forgetting a bit more, but I just remember the 3DS felt so personalized because there was the shop, there was, you know, multiple pages for your games, there was, like, little applications like the camera and the... I don't think they had the internet browser then. They might have, because, I mean, the Wii did. So I feel like it would be make sense for the 3DS too, but... Um, I don't know. For the internet browser, it's kind of a joke to me. I just never use the internet I know, browser. Because it's like if you have a computer, you're just... just why? You, even smartphones. Like, most of us got smartphones yeah, when we were in yeah. middle school. We didn't need it. Uh-huh. Um, so, I mean, it was interesting features that I don't know if maybe they applied more in Japan. But, I don't know. I mean, I just remember I had the red and black one. Like, this one on screen. Yeah. I'll throw up a picture of it, actually. Editor Liam will take care of that. But, um, yeah, I just had pretty basic. I never had anything interesting for it, but I remember I did have quite a few games. I can't recall too many of them, but it was just, like, you know, shovelware stuff that my parents thought looked fun and got for me. Um, But, yeah, the 3DS was great. 
As far as a series of games I had goes, I mean, I obviously had most of the Pokemon games going into that. Yep. I had uh, the Force Awakens games. I had, like, Phineas and Ferg game, I recall. <gasps> yes, I had that something like one. that, too. Oh, my gosh. Uh, but I think the most, like, my favorite aspect about why I love the DS and the 3DS era compared to the Switch era is just because I think... In total, it was just a fond part of my childhood. Like, I was constantly yeah. going on car rides, multiple hour car rides, uh, just because of my dad's occupation and save money on babysitting, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I just constantly had my DS with me, and what was the best thing to do it was uh, go take this portable gaming system, pop in my Pokemon, like, uh, <laughs> Black or Black 2, yep. and just go play that for a couple hours completely zoned out i had the best time and i, will I know. always love that compared to the switch though i feel like now it's the combination of that i can't say that the switch isn't a good console i do think it is i just use it less because uh games are a bit more expensive now I yeah think. yeah exactly um, it's a bit larger it's a bit larger of a handheld i don't personally mm -hmm. use it at all in terms of traveling i know some people do but I think that's where the DS was a little bit better. I would have to argue the specifics of that a little better than I am now. Uh-huh. Um, and then just the fact that I'm aging out of, like, those types of games that Nintendo offers. Yeah, exactly. I feel the same way. Like, I just... Like, I used my... Like, my new 3DS, for example. I used that a ton when it came... Because I also am pretty sure I got the new 3DS when it came out. Sometime around, like, again, birthday or Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember I used that a lot when I got it, but I've just been using it less and less over the time. Um, because, I don't know, I mean, there's something about Nintendo games that just don't have as much appeal to me anymore. But, I mean, obviously, like, I'm still, like, I in love with some of the, uh, like, classics, like, you know, Mario, Zelda. I always yeah. love those new um, additions. But, uh, yeah, what about the Wii U? Oh gosh, the Wii U. I do have to say too that um, for like just we're going to be sitting here in about 10, 12 years is going to be a whole generation of kids who grew up with a Switch because it's sold. It's Nintendo's best-selling product, if it, I'm not wrong. Far yeah. outsold the Wii already. Yeah. Wii U is kind of just dead on arrival. I feel so bad. I know. Um, but like, wait, the Wii or the Wii U? The Wii U. Yeah, was the dead Wii U. on arrival. Wii was took America by storm, at least. It did. Yeah. Like everybody had it, even. My uncle and aunt, who had no kids, and, like, he got oh the God. little platform that you use for yoga and stuff Wii for Fit, golf. Yeah. yeah. He got a golfing game for it, and he's like, this is fantastic, and they used it, like, three times. But they still had a Wii, and I That's was like, amazing. Why? You have no kids. It was funny as hell. I know. But uh, for the Wii U, I got it as an upgrade to the Wii. What I loved it at first was that, like, I would have friends. I would have Gavin, like in my house in gavin's house and we'd use the facetime feature on it and we'd just like hang out you could draw on it you could just talk oh and my hang gosh out. and then at nights uh because i live this is when i moved i had a bunk bed and i had the tv like at the top so that when i'm in the bunk bed on the second level i would see the tv just straight ahead at, like near the ceiling mm -hmm. uh, and so i'd take the uh wii u with me and either cast it to the tv or when I was just tired and just wanted to watch it, I would uh, just have the Wii U console. Like, like I do at nights with my phone, is just have my Wii U console so close to my face. With mm -hmm. Like now I do with my phone in my face and just watch Netflix, uh, just watch anything. Uh-huh. I know, I loved the semi-portableness of the Wii U tablet because, like, it. Th I think it was brilliant, the advertising of, like, you know, not many people in America have multiple tvs or multiple locations like good locations for a tv so i thought i loved the advertising um that you know the kid could be playing their game and then oh mom or dad wants to watch tv and then oh that yeah it's fine it, mom it's okay you don't have to kick me off i have my little tablet it was perfect that i was loved the it strongest piece of marketing i remember i know and i, I remember they were, they made like a whole campaign about kids campaigning to their parents that getting a Wii U is a good decision. I, I thought that was pretty smart. Um, but I feel like that also kind of got a lot of people upset why it's like, 
we're, like, I don't know, we're so into the future of, like, adults play games now, so why do we have to market it towards kids so much? And, you know, that's kind of what changed with the Switch, is that now it's not just every kid has a Switch. I, I don't even know... I mean, first off, I don't know many children, but I don't know many kids that have Switches anyways, or, like, you know, I'd know every kid that had a Wii U, and it'd be very distinct, but I just know so many more adults that have Switches now, which is interesting yeah they kind of just evolved with it um mm -hmm. also the fact that it's better selling you know is telling of that fact but i think if i were to just blindly guess too based on like just not based off of facts or anything just educated guesses uh -huh. um i would guess why the wii u failed is just because like the main audience of kids who are with it were either playing on their 3ds's at the time like they used that they didn't see any reason to upgrade to the wii u from the wii yeah. There wasn't a ton of new games offered on it that were, like, groundbreaking or anything, as mm -hmm. far as I remember. Because uh, I, only, I only got a few Wii U games that were right, noticeable right, right. anyway. Like, yeah. if there's a new... There was Smash for Wii U, but there was also Smash for 3DS. There was, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I feel like the options... I mean, definitely for me, I was definitely more of a Wii U guy than a 3DS, because I just didn't see myself, like, going out that much. But I definitely would always bring my DS whenever I... Or 3DS. New, th new 3DS. Yeah. Um, whenever I would go out on trips, because it was just so fun. Um, I don't know when, but I did sell a lot of my games, d like, DS games recently. And again, I don't know why I did that. Like, I did the same with my Wii games, because um, I was hungry for money and i was tired of these dumb games that i would have enjoyed now yeah, yeah. like i can't even believe you know i don't know what i sold i sold new super mario bros i know that's not a 3ds game but like i sold that and i was like w why would i ever sold sell that it's i just couldn't believe i did that that was actually a game which i remember playing at like the boys and girls club with a bunch of other people because it had the multiplayer <gasps> yes that was just so much fun uh-huh uh, that also feeds into it too like uh, the Wii U, just at that time, I think when the Wii U released, which you could, it was either like, tw yeah, I think it was 2013, 2014 when the Wii U released, because they, there was a couple of years there where they tried to sell it, didn't work, and then the Switch went big in 2016. Uh, that is the time frame, I believe, but, uh, like, that was at the height could be wrong of xbox the generation mm -hmm. four consoles like ps4 xbox uh one. yeah xbox one those just had better games on it too yeah exactly like it was just kind of like a matter of like oh mom mom can i get can i get like you know a new console and it's you know maybe they're not old enough to really weigh these decisions of like hmm i wonder what i should get i should check the market to see what kind of games are on there but you know just it, like, the Wii U was a little too new and experimental with all everything that it was just a safer bet, you know, like, for adults and kids, I guess, to get just the new version of the PS3 and the Xbox 360. It was just kind of, like, simply cho just a very simple choice, yeah. you know. I feel like this when your time to evolve, like, from our age when we had the Wii, and then, like, you know, just set aside all the DS mobile stuff, right? Yeah. But just... For talking about just main gaming consoles, once you're at that point where you're kind of outgrown the Wii, you're at the choice of, and we're, we're still pretty young then, of going to another console, mm -hmm. which then, with Wii U, your options were PlayStation or Xbox. We just Wii U just was not it, even though we both got one. We yeah. enjoyed it, but this clearly superior option was uh, Sony or Microsoft. Yeah. Or... Yeah. PC, which I feel like just slowly and slowly it would start to turn into more of a snowball of how many people went from, yeah, yeah I'll go yeah. for, you know, like at the start, yeah, I'll go to PC, I'll go to PC. I had like one or two friends that were became PC gamers and then just over the years, just everybody became PC gamers. Just a better option. Yeah, yeah. Just um, a better option. But it, it was like, my God, it was like, I don't even think that was an, I don't, I didn't even know that was a term and I don't even think I called myself that, even though I probably would call myself that because I, I had games like Team Fortress 2, I loved Roblox, yeah. just stuff like that was, you know, very PC-ish. Um, and I had those kind of games, you know, just, I played them a ton, um, but uh, I was gonna say something else. What were we just talking about? So you were just saying, we're just we're just talking about like comparing evolving consoles instead of choosing yeah. the Wii U going with something like a 
Xbox or Sony. Or, yeah, Xbox or PlayStation. It was... <laughs> I forget. I don't. Oh, oh! I was just gonna say, like, I totally pledged my loyalty to Nintendo because I remember I was like, oh, there's so many good Wii U games. Like, oh my gosh, I absolutely loved uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, even though I sold it. Again, I sold it. I don't know why, but uh, even though I loved that game so much, um, I like, th like, there's. I will admit there were a bunch of good games that I wanted to get because I was kind of like blinded by the Nintendo hype. Uh, and just kind of like, oh, Nintendo's so fun. Like, I just was, like, blinded by all that. So I sold my 360, which I don't really regret. I don't... There's not many games that I really, really enjoyed that I couldn't have just gotten on my Wii U. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did miss my Halos and my Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. But, um... Uh... Yeah, I definitely kind of was like, nope, no more consoles except Nintendo at that point. Um, I forget when I sold my 360. It might have been like a, hey, mom, can I get, can I sell my 360 for $50 and then get the new Wii U console? I forgot when I sold it, but I don't think I had it for a very, very long time. But I think yeah. during that time when I started getting into console gaming a bit more is also the time where I just stopped playing game like start doing other stuff you know that time when you're like uh, a little bit seventh eighth grade so just about ending middle school and going into high school yep when you're just gaming a little bit less focusing on other things uh is when i started to shift away like i just kind of chose what are my friends playing and what will i have fun playing because mm -hmm. i just wanted to hang out with people so that influenced my decisions with getting an xbox so i played overwatch with friends before oh, i had yeah. a pc uh, so, like, console pretty much was my stepping stone to PC only because I could not afford a good enough laptop to run games nor a desktop. Mm hmm So, did that. Uh, I think, I, I don't know, I'm just not really a console guy. Was it worth it for me? I think maybe for, like, a couple months of playing with friends to form relationships, I maybe. But if I had the opportunity to play from PC from the get-go, of course. Uh-huh. Um... But yeah, I mean, there was obvious reasons why the Wii U was a flop, but I definitely think it was a very, it's a very interesting little subculture of an already kind of subculture. Um, like, just, I don't know, being a Wii, a proud Wii U owner in, like, 2016 and stuff was very interesting, because that's kind of when it died down, 2016-ish, um, a little earlier, maybe 2015, and it was, I don't know. It was, you know, because then when the rumors were coming out about Nintendo NX, you know, that was an interesting title for the next console. But yeah. when, when stuff about that was coming out, then that's when people were like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to play with you anymore. Um, but I was still holding on strong with my, you know, th my um, Smash Brothers U and um, my Star Fox Zero, which I forget when it came out, but... It, that might have been... I. It doesn't matter. But anyways, the Wii U actually introduced me to my favorite game of all time, which is Pikmin. Pikmin 3, specifically. I, I didn't start out with one or two. But Pikmin is, like, literally my favorite game. And that's why I got the deluxe version for the Switch. Mm -hmm. um, which I haven't completed yet, actually. But I'm really excited to just play around with that more. Because um, I just absolutely love that game. I think looking forward to the future of it... Uh... I uh, guess, hold up, because I do want to talk about, I can't really say I was a, like a proud Wii U owner, only because I won a <laughs> few games for it. You want to like, clarify that you're a moderate Wii U but, owner. Yeah, like, I just can't proudly exclaim, like, I had a Wii U, I had a couple games for it, and that was also yeah. not by, like, that was just by, like, I, I played Wind Waker for months, it just yes, on my yes. own, just having a blast with it, and then, um, like, I kind of played Gang Smash that I got for the 3DS, but I, just, I was just kind of like, well... I'll keep playing on the 3DS for a bit. I'll play Overwatch on the Xbox for a bit. Uh, I kind of just did other stuff, so I can't really say, like, hell yeah, I'm a proud <laughs> Wii U owner. Look at me, yeah. Switch fans in 2016, nerds. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely looking forward into the future. I think it's mostly just going to be like, I can't really... I see myself in the Switch sort of dying out, if I were to predict, just because it's like, what... 
really more can you offer besides, you know, a Zelda game or a Mario game or a Pokemon game that people are really going to like? I've just seen a decline in some good... I guess you couldn't say, like, not indie, just new IPs are being made. Yeah. Slight yeah. decline. I think yeah, there's a I ton agree. of them out there still. But it's just kind of better to game on PC for those. I'd rather play on PC than play on Switch. For new yeah, titles. yeah, no. And and the the only thing is it's like, that's where the big problem comes for me, where I'm a, like, you know, I'm, I have two monitors. I have a glowing keyboard. It's kind of obvious I'm a PC guy. And so when I have the choice of should I play Overwatch at 720 like pixels, 30 FPS on the Switch, or could I play it on my computer? It's like the the I will admit again it's portable, but sometimes that's not what everyone wants. Everyone I've ran into that has a Switch, I don't really know how much they like log it around because I don't. I don't at all. It just stays in the port all day i never bring it out yeah. um you know it's useful when there's a party or something but i, I just never find myself taking it out because it just looks worse as well and it performs worse um when you take it out of the dock but yeah i don't know it just i see so many ports of games and the ports just look disgusting with all these new games that aren't you know stylized they, they all hit the realistic factor so of course you know the graphics need to be the best and the most detailed, so, of course, the Switch isn't going to run them well. So, like, I saw The Witcher. Oh, my God, The Witcher just looks awful. Like, I'll, I'll pull it up real quick. <laughs> oh, is the left on the Switch? The, that just does not look as attractive. It... It's just like I think the main thing he's trying to say is it's not terrible, but you can get yeah. a better experience elsewhere. If you want on the, the switch, switch, it's fine. Oh no. It's it's just yeah. it's like it's just a shame. I don't really know if you could hear the video, but I'll try to overlay it onto the video. Anyways, yeah, it, th there's just, like, the whole porting issue is so awful, <laughs> it, and so it's, like, I just, when I when I weigh my decisions, I'm, like, well, PC is better in this case, and, I mean, I'm just this one specific person. So many of my, my, my friends aren't PC buffs, so, you know, when they make the decision, I'm sure it's a lot easier, and also, I'm sure they probably have more fun with Switch games than I do, because I just have lost a little more interest in switch games um obviously there's many i'm looking forward to and many i had a lot of fun with like i had fun with smash ultimate that also kind of has now died down a little bit for me but like because i always enjoyed wii U, smash uh for wii u mm -hmm. um but smash ultimate has just kind of you know it's just gotten so not fun for me but i obviously enjoy the smash reveals like the character reveals and stuff but I don't know, for us, I feel like Smash just kind of, like, we didn't really have a ton of people to play it with. It wasn't as fun to play mm -hmm. it online. Um, yeah. Yeah. And so we're going to take a mom break. we going to take a mom break. So anyways, that was a, the mom call has was very dire, actually. Yeah. Jack's uh, mom is in the hospital. No. No, she's not. She's fine. Bye, guys. We're going to go visit her. <laughs> All right. We're going to go visit the hospital.